Hello, my name is Dan. My name is Lucy. And welcome to the first spring episode of Reality Check. Reality Check is a podcast where we check up on current competition reality TV. This spring, we're going to cover Survivor 44. But before we get into that, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Dan. I am one of the co-hosts of Reality Check. I am 20. I'm from America. I'm a college student. And I've been watching Survivor ever since season 30, Worlds Apart. And yeah, I'm super excited for season 44. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm British. I'm a content creator on social media. And it, I've been watching Survivor since Survivor 41. Um, so I'm a bit newer. And it, I'm 20 years old. <laughs> years young, maybe. <laughs> It's not that old. <laughs> yeah. Well, after a little mini season in fall 2022, we've made some changes to this podcast. First of all, like I went in with the goal of three episodes a week. And though that was a fun idea, that is way too ambitious. So for this spring, yeah. we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do one episode a week, releasing every Friday, starting today or tomorrow. We're recording this on Thursday. Um, a few days ago, the cast was officially revealed for Survivor 44, and we have yet to look at it. So for today's episode, we are going to look at the cast for the very first time, and we've got two drafts that we're going to do. Here's how it's going to work. We are first going to look at just pictures and names of the cast. That's all we're going to see, that's all we're going to get to know, and from that... Lucy and I will each pick three people that we think are going to do the best. Then throughout that season, of those six total people, whoever makes it the farthest wins it for their respective person. So if Lucy has three people and all of them make like final seven, but two of mine are pre-jury and one of, but, but the other one of mine wins, then I would win that part of the draft, even though her team overall did better than mine. It's whichever I don't like the, this. <laughs> it's whichever of those three did the best, just of the six, wins it for their team. Then, after that, we are going to look into the cast. We're going to look on, the, on their descriptions, the, you know, the, the stuff you see all over the various websites. Oh, how old are they? What's their career? Stuff like that. We're going to go over that. We're going to tell you if you haven't read any of those, if you just don't know, or if you want a review, we'll do that. And then after that, we are each going to pick five more people. And they become what we're calling our cast assessment draft. So with this, we've assessed the cast, and we're then deciding which five we think will do the best. In the cast assessment draft, this one is going to be scored. So... For the place they get, they'll, they'll get that many points. So if they're 18th, it'll be 18 points. If they're 15th, it'll be 15. If they're 10th, it'll be 10. If they're 1st, it'll be 1, and so on. And we'll add up the points of all five players of our teams, and whichever of us between Lucy and I has the lowest score wins that draft. So that one is based on how the overall team does. And the catch to that, same thing we did for Survivor 43, we cannot repeat any picks. So not only can Lucy not pick someone I cannot pick someone I already picked, we can't pick someone for the cast assessment draft that draft that was in our first impressions draft. That means we will each be picking a total of eight people, and there will be two people that are just not picked for any draft. It, like, you know, little like outliers or blinds whatever you want to call it yeah um, and if you watch if you listened <laughs> um to our last um reality check um series mm -hmm. you'll know that the, the two outliers that we had last time that didn't get picked for anything one of them did actually go on to win the whole yes. season um <laughs> so we'll see if that alert. pattern repeats itself yep. spoiler alert <laughs> if you haven't seen it already it was gabler i don't think anyone expected him to win and we showed that in our podcast as well. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's something we'll discuss in another preseason episode. We'll see. But for now, we're focusing on the new season. And will we be any better in our draft? 
So, yeah. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah how, <laughs> how are you feeling for the season as a whole now that we've like given the intro and everything? But like, honestly, it's been a while. Being completely honest, obviously, <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, whenever Survivor's coming around, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's time. Like, it's it's happening. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the trailer for this has like filled me with mm. dread. Like. And when when you say trailer, I just it, want to be clear. It seems dangerous, this is, and this I don't is like. This is trailer <laughs> from the end of Survivor Forty Three. Nothing. The I think there was of, a new yeah. thing that came out. We have not watched anything about this since ah. the Survivor Forty Three finale. But yeah, um, yeah. So they had this this fellow fell off a rock, and then this other guy like had some sort of medical emergency, and it was all kicking off in the trailer so i'm i'm a little it bit seems worried like I'll there will be honest. a number of injuries this season i imagine everyone's okay as of now there are of course three tribes of six there's ratu soka and tika in orange green and purple respectively and yeah i think we can get into this draft now I think we'll do what we did last time. So whoever goes first this draft will go second in the next one. But to decide who goes first this draft, we got to flip a coin. All right, Lucy, do you want to call the coin flip? Um, uh, I guess I'll go for heads. All right. Hey, Siri. Flip a coin. Tails. You heard it from Siri. It is Tails. So that means I go first right. for the first impression draft, and Lucy will go first for the cast assessment draft. So what, are we just picking one from each tribe here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I forgot to mention that. This one, we do do one from each tribe. I, that is something we did last time, and we will yeah. be doing that again. I, that makes it easier. Cool. <laughs> yeah, um, so for let's sure. Start, let's start uh, at the top of Ratu. I want to go for Matthew. That's All the right. guy who we said was looking like the dad or uncle of the group. And I think I'm going to swoop him up now. Um, in that case, well, I, in any case, I think I'm going to go for Brandon. Brandon. All right. Um, any reasoning behind your pick? I kind of said mine already, but... Um, he just looks like a strong that? guy. Yeah. I feel like he's going to be good in challenges. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, moving on, we've got the Soka tribe. This is a really interesting group. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I, this is obvious. I'm going for Danny. Um, no! His name is Danny, so that's already bonus points. In that, and he, looks, he also looks like he'll be a strong guy, and I think no! he can, he's like guaranteed merge. No, I wanted merge. Danny. Nope, Danny is mine. <laughs> I'm going to go for go for Heidi. Heidi. All right. Cool. So we've got two picks each. We have one tribe left. Tika tribe. Also, something I want to point out. Yam Yam is the guy's name. His name is Yam Yam. I've never heard of a name okay. like that. I don't know. It's just a cool name. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to go for Carson. He All looks right. kind of like, yeah, he's either going to go really far or be pre-jury. He's clearly like, yeah, I think he's going to be the nerdy type. He looks kind of like a nerd, but maybe he'll be like. Like a Spencer type. Yeah, Spencer, player. or maybe even Sammy. Sammy wasn't much of a nerd, but like. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for Bruce. All right. And why? Because his name, Bruce. His name, because his name is Bruce, yeah. Yeah, right. and I've recently watched the Matilda musical movie. There's mm. a song about a guy called Bruce. Okay. Like, Bruce. Da, 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 da. So <laughs> I'm picking Bruce. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so <laughs> as you can see, first impression drafts are tough, and we don't have much logic to go off because we've only seen their what they look like and their names. So just yeah. a quick review. I've got Matthew. I. Grinstead Mill, fun last, fun last name. Like a Matthew, Danny Massa, and Carson Garrett. And Lucy, do you want to remind Why us? Why does Danny Massa sound like a like a movie star name? Like, you know, like Beyonce has a name. I don't think he's. <laughs> I don't think he's. No, he, I don't think he is. But like, 
his, his name is of someone that could no, be famous. No, he's, he's only known for Survivor, but can't wait to learn more yeah. about him. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Are we doing mine? Yeah, mine go now? ahead and okay, tell us I who picked you picked again. Brandon Cottom, Heidi... Le- oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lagaris Greenblatt, and Bruce Perio. Yes. <laughs> we're not perfect <laughs> with names. Nobody is. Yes. We, we're seeing these names for the first time. We haven't heard them yet. Cool. <laughs> so that's our draft, our first impression draft. So we've got our first impression draft. We've picked some people off of how they look and what their name is alone. And now <laughs> we are going to see what who who they are. We're going to look at their little interviews. So we are using the article from Entertainment Weekly. It really, I'm pretty sure all of the articles are the same. So it doesn't make a difference where you find it. There's not one that's better than the others. Anyways, um, so I think we'll see what we'll do is we'll just each go through and read our people that we just drafted and talk about them, okay. what we think now that we've learned about Um, Since I started with the draft, would you like to start by talking about your first person? Sure. My first right, person is Brandon, him. right? Yes. Brandon! Interesting. He's from Pennsylvania? Is yep. That? He's 30 and he's a security specialist. He's easygoing, ambitious, and confident. And he wants the adventure. He's made it into the NFL. Yep. I, I, What's I think the I NFL? remember this. Yeah. The NFL is a national football league. As in America. Isn't football, that like the Super Bowl? The ball. Yeah, that's, that's is it the Super, Super Bowl? Bowl that's coming okay. Out. Yep, that's <laughs> what the Super Bowl is from. I am so sorry to all the Americans listening to this. Um, I'm British. I don't really know what's going on in the US. Let us know okay, who you're so that, rooting for in the Super Bowl between um, the Philadelphia Eagles and oh, the what's his name? Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> the Dodgers. No, not you. I was at the audience. The LA Dodgers. The audience. Uh, is the LA Dodgers Wait, okay? What, what? I think that's a baseball team. <laughs> Anyways, let's the let's LA... let's get back on topic here. What... <laughs> Rams. Yeah, they're not. Okay. In, they're not in the. the they didn't okay. make the playoffs. Well, I tried my best. <laughs> okay, I was just about to say, wasn't Danny a football pl- American football player? Mm-hmm. He was. Um, that's what well, he I says think, that. In yeah, that. I'm yep. seeing that. <laughs> That's really interesting. Wasn't Danny in the most... No, he wasn't in the most recent season. He was in 41. He was, like, two seasons. Yeah, 41. Yep. Wow, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I would agree with this, um, his analysis saying he identifies with Danny and mm-hmm. uses other players as meat shields. I, I like the idea of that. Um, yeah. He values someone he can communicate well with. Um... His pet peeves the gum smacking and people eating with their mouth open. This guy is so <laughs> me. He's played for the Seattle Seahawks. Yep. That's his okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and does magic tricks. That's nice. His parents are his biggest inspiration, and he will be the sole survivor because he's the perfect combination of physical and mental strength. Cool. There we go. Yeah. He seems confident. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I think you you might have made a good pick there. I think you should go far. I think I did. I saw NFL, I was like, aha. Well, when you explained what it was, I was like, aha. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now let's go with my first pick, Matthew. There he is. All right. Oh, he's 43, so definitely the dad of the group. 43. He's from Ohio. Um, He, oh, oh boy. he owns a barber shop. <laughs> He, he he that's cool. I never would have guessed, but now that now that it's there, I can imagine it. It makes sense. He's got a fresh trim. <laughs> I wonder how he's gonna cope being on the island and not being <laughs> able to He's gonna get messed up. <laughs> yeah. If, if he's in the jury we um, we'll get a ponderosa video of him just styling everyone's hair. <laughs> Let's see. Oh he identifies with Elaine the most. Now you don't know who Elaine is. Um he would also like to be like Shan. You know, you remember Shan from Forty One. Yeah. And Ben. I'm assuming <laughs> Ben from Thirty Five. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, he's got some players he wants to play like. In an alliance, he's seeking trust. He needs the trust. Trust, trust, trust is exactly what he says in the interview, word for word. Um, his pet peeves, people that talk in circles, people who don't get over his time to talk, the color combo of purple and white, misformed popsicles, odd numbers, pineapple on pizza, and malt chocolate candy. He doesn't look like a guy who has a lot of pet peeves, but wow, he has a lot of pet peeves. Yeah, what did odd numbers ever do to him? <laughs> At yeah. least he's on Survivor 44 then. Oh, Isn't right. that yeah, imagine that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. And also, pineapple on pizza, I'm going to have arguments with this man. <laughs> Alright. What is the accomplishment? the accomplishment he's most proud of is, is his family. Um, something that we want to know about him from looking at him is that he has a huge heart and compassion for those all around him. I disagree. I knew that just looking at him. But, Lucy, yeah, I don't we know kind of both same. did. Yeah. No, and, I, I agree. Yeah. His biggest inspiration is his husband, Dale. And because he fell in love with him before he knew how to love himself. Aw. And then. He will be the sole survivor because he has the drive and the ability. So, you know, I think he's got a shot. I am happy with my pick so far. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's... Cool. Who, who, all right. Um, Who's your next pick? I think Heidi is her name. I think so, too. That sounds right. Heidi, where are yep. you? She's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay. She's also from Pennsylvania. What is wrong with me? Why am I just... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, she's 43. Oh, she's from Puerto Rico, but she lives in mm. Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, she's an engineering manager. She's energetic, adventurous, and loud. Um, she's a first generation in the state. She moved with nothing and barely able to speak the language. That's good because she'll she'll be used to like adapting to, to yeah. different situations. Like that's gonna that's gonna come in handy for, like she said, preparing her for the game. Mm -hmm. Um, she loves Sandra. Do you know who Sandra? Do oh, I know? Yes, who I know who, you. You've never seen Sandra, but Sandra is very talked about in the Survivor community, so you ah, might know. Okay. Um. um. She wants strategic collaboration from an ally and encouragement when they get to the lows. That's important. Um, she doesn't like rude people and thinks it's always nice to be nice. She's so right mm. for that one. Um, she's done marathons. Okay, so mm. she's actually quite physically fit. That's good. Um, she's played for the National Youth Basketball Team. Wow. Um, and her mom is her biggest inspiration. Um, and she's in it to win it. She wants to nice. represent people that sound different or look different. Um, and she wants to be a role model for others. And of course, the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. As she should. Yeah. As she should. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Very yeah. happy with that pick. I can't wait to see. I feel see like she's she going to be yeah. underestimated. Yeah. Because, like, someone like, um, like Brandon might come in and be quite big and muscular, mm -hmm. and people might be like, oh, you know, this guy's gonna be a big threat and someone like Heidi could definitely like go under the radar a bit more and like mm -hmm. people might not realize how big of a threat she is until she's there with the knife ready to stab them <laughs> exactly yeah um, I, so I really like that yeah I yeah I can't wait to see how she plays all right who yeah. did I draft ah it's time Danny to get Danny let's see what this guy's about there he is Ah, he's a firefighter from the Bronx in New York. There we go. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can I can see that. Um Yeah. Uh let's see what it's else. It's giving he's... um is it Mike? I think it was Mike who's from he was from maybe Mike was from Boston. I don't know. But was I think Mike was also a firefighter. I yeah, I'm completely sure. completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was. Um yeah. He looks like a po he could be a young Mike. So yeah, he's 32, by the way. Um, let's see. 
Kind, passionate, and determined. Yep. Those are three words to describe him. He wants to be like Jeremy Collins, who is also a firefighter. His favorite hobbies are Brazilian jiu-jitsu, running with his dog, breath work, and meditation. Did they? Oh, for some reason, they didn't ask him the alliance question. Interesting. Um, his, he's most proud of being kind always and being a compassionate fireman. Oh, but he also ran a 34-mile ultramarathon. So yeah, his pet peeves are bullies. Oh, so he and... could hang on. He could connect with um, Heidi. On yeah, that. yeah, they both did. Didn't marathons. she do marathons? She only did yeah. a twenty-six mile marathon though. So ah. <laughs> his pet peeves are bullying that bullies and whining. Which, that's fair. Um, apparently, growing up, he was very insecure about a lot his body, voice, and speech. But now he's a cool firefighter who does ultra marathons. And mm -hmm. his biggest inspiration is his mother. So yeah, I think he's going to be a good character. I I can't wait to see how he does. Yeah, he's... Seems like he's know. got quite the family story here as well. I bet he makes merge <laughs> at least. But right. I, I can't really no, tell No, I'd you. agree. Who doesn't make merge at this point? So you yeah, know, don't quote me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, lastly, I picked Bruce. Bruce. Let's take a look at Bruce. Bruce. He's forty-six. Wow, I would wow. not have guessed that. He, he looks might good be for the oldest. I don't know. He's the oldest we've seen so far. Oh boy, yeah, I did not expect him to be 46, um, <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine, we can work with it. He's from Rhode Island, he's an insurance agent, he's energetic, funny, and competitive. Um, he was abandoned as a child, but has turned into sure. the husband and father that he is today. Nice. I don't know who Jeremy is. <laughs> this, guy is this guy is not answering this question well. I don't know Which why. One? He said, Jeremy Collins. I would identify the most with him. His sense of family and commitment. <laughs> I would play like Jeremy Collins. Why do I feel like this guy's not going to be great socially? Oh no. <laughs> He's um, old. He, he rocks Roy vibes. Yeah. No, I think he'll do better. Oh rocks boy. <laughs> <laughs> what does he value in an alliance partner? Someone that looks at Survivor as a game. Okay. Um, he likes golf <laughs> and boxing. People huh. who run their fork on their teeth while eating. He's oh. so right for that one. Do people do that? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, it bugs me. I always am like, eat your food, not your <laughs> fork. Anyway, <laughs> um, he's raised two awesome kids with his amazing wife. He was adopted by a white family. I mean, yeah, we wouldn't know that by looking at him. Mm. Um, and it, he has an adoptive mother who's his biggest inspiration. Um, and he will be the sole survivor because this is his time. He will huh. be social and strategic. <laughs> Well, wow. I regret my choice to be honest. He, he, he looks like a good guy, and maybe you're yeah. underestimating him right now. I feel like I am I... underestimating him. At the same time, I wish I'd gone for someone who is a bit more like had a bit more on their resume. You know, yeah. like this guy doesn't have anything we to me that makes him yeah. stand out. We haven't learned much about him from this alone, and I'd yeah. love to learn more about him yes. as the show goes on. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So let's hope I'll be like pleasantly surprised by him. Um, but right now, um, I am kind of thinking <laughs> this was a bad choice. <laughs> but All it's right. fine. It's fine. Maybe he will be the you know Gabler ended up winning last season. So yeah. anything can. <laughs> so happen. let's go, Bruce. Absolutely. Right. Uh, last up is Carson. Carson. He's from. You won't believe this. He's from Rome. He was. He was born in Rome. Rome, Georgia. Yes. <laughs> Rome, Georgia. <laughs> he's twenty. Um, he's from Atlanta, Georgia. We're I, I was, twenty. Oh my god. Yeah. This guy is our age. Crazy. He's literally the same wow. age we are. Oh my gosh. Well, to be fair, <gasps> he was twenty as of like July. He might be yeah, twenty-one still, by now. Still. We yeah, are yeah, 20 and he close. is 20. Shoot. Wow, right, we're old. That is nuts. That is crazy. Um, yeah. Wow. Anyways, but despite being 20, actually not despite, you can, you can be this at any age, but he is a NASA engineering student. 
So let's go. Good for him. I mean, it would make sense that he's a student aged twenty.、Mm-hmm. So、yes. I think it's it's not despite. In- <laughs> well, no, it's it's the Na- it's the NASA that threw me off there. Like yeah.、Whoa. But yeah, let's good, go. Good for him. Um, let's、King. see. He wants to be part of Survivor to win the game that he knows and loves to prove that age does not define success. Good for him.、Um, yes. Let's see. Oh, he、uh, apparently before he was on Survivor, he did two semesters worth of training at NASA, so that was cool.、Um, he identifies as Christian Hubicki. Christian is amazing, like one of my favorite characters. Um, Lucy, you have no idea who he is, but he's great. <laughs> Smiles.、Um, and he does. Wait, of, I'm so sorry. I just、like、read、Christian. down. I scrolled down a bit. I, I, I、What? love this guy. <laughs> Where Minecraft? <laughs> okay. Anyways, well, yeah. In an alliance, he wants loyalty, and he's willing to do anything and work with anyone if it puts him in a better position, though. So, yeah. Anyways, as Lucy was pointing out, let's go over、Minecraft. his favorite hobbies: three D printing, Settlers of Catan. I love that board game. Photography. Minecraft, fun. Minecraft. He likes <laughs> Minecraft and board games. Yeah, and yeah, strategic How... board games. He, he's cool.、Uh, We love this guy. Maybe he <laughs> plays Dominion. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs>、um, he also likes space engineering YouTube videos and Civilization V, which I think that's a video game. I don't really know. Come、oh, on, Carson, for the win! I this guy, he's getting even better. His pet peeves: mosquitoes, delayed textures, <laughs> people、so、who、right. text him essays, people who play on their phone during a movie, smacking gum、he's、in a、so、silent、right. room, people who radiate negative vibes, and people who think the moon landing is fake. He is so right. Get、I、this man、really、on conspiracy talk. I'm so glad.、Right? I, I am so glad I drafted him. I, What an icon, a legend, a king! I can't wait. I want to be、it. friends with、yeah. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes,、yeah, same. Yeah, he seems, and he's our age, so we can be friends with him. We Car- can. Carson, if you're listening, let me find play him on Minecraft. Instagram. Not now. Carson, please play Minecraft、right、with us. <laughs> we love bed wars. <laughs> Anyways, oh, <laughs> the, sorry. There's, there's still more. There's still more. There's We're not more. done with Carson yet. <laughs> But wait,、um, there's more. So first of all, he got a National Student Volunteer Award in 2022. Very cool. But he 3D prints and designs survivor puzzles for fun. So he's been practicing. This is like full on like Spencer vibes right here. Except he, I don't. This and not even not just Spencer, but like he's, yeah. Um, his biggest inspiration is his great grandpa, who worked his way up from poverty to working at NASA. And he will be the sole survivor because of his natural ability to push himself to succeed, no matter what challenge he is presented with. He will never give up and always prepare to be the best to,、uh, of his ability. He will use his emotional intelligence, logical mind, and kindness to bring home the million-dollar check to become the youngest survivor winner in the process.、Let's、I、go. would love to see it. He seems like such、I'm, a good guy. I've just gone、cool、to、character. look at his Instagram. Oh my gosh! <laughs> his literally the last post he posted before the cast reveal, the caption was L I V I N, like living. <laughs> nice. <laughs>、um, yeah. And I do. I quote: "Get ready to blast off and watch this short little space geeks expedition on the remote islands of Fiji. <laughs> Survivor Forty Four will be astronomical." <laughs> Oh my gosh! I love him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, this guy seems.、Him. Yeah. I I want to draft I'm, him. I'm rooting for him already. So yeah, but yeah, I'm absolutely excited to see him play. Anyways, um, so that those are the six first impression drafts, and that is where we will end this episode. Come back next time for the rest of the cast assessment. And the cast has been draft, but anyways, thank you for listening to Reality Check, the podcast for all things reality. Come back for new episodes every Friday. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.